So I recently just moved in to my dream home, this one here in Los Angeles. I have been trying to figure out where to put like my library reading nook and I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it in my bedroom or here in the dining room, but I have been testing it out for about a week and a half now and I really, really, really like it in here. I didn't think it was gonna work because of the dining table, but it does. I have the dining table sideways and then there's a walkthrough and then there's so much room for my library. So I'm gonna keep it this way and turn my little corner now into my dream library. I did, in fact, just purchase this shelf from Ikea. I love it so, so much, but I've already filled it up completely. And I feel like with putting it in the dining room and like just having a lot of things going on in here, I wanted more of like shelves that felt more open and not like enclosed off with sides. So I was either going to have my husband make me like custom shelves, but I found my dream shelves. They are absolutely stunning. My friend on Instagram, Mary, posted them and I was like, oh, I have to have those. And so Nathan James, that's where they're from, they sent me them. I am so excited. I literally peed my pants. Uh, but they just got here today and my husband is going to set them up. I, I'm, just, I'm so excited, but I'm thinking this wall and then I found my dream reading chair. This chair is from World Market. I feel like they're the best place that has them, but I've wanted this chair for so, so long. When I was little, I grew up, my dad had one of these. I used to play on it all the time. It is just nostalgic and so comfy for me. So that was step one was finding my chair and I did. For now, I'm going to move everything off of these shelves and my sweet angel of a husband is gonna set up my new shelves for me. And yeah, it's gonna be so amazing. I am so excited to set up my dream home library with you. This is all you get to see for today. The shelves are built. Joseph is drilling them into the wall, but, <laughs> but the sun is setting a little bit. So I want to wake up tomorrow and not do this in the dark because I'm so excited and it looks so good in here. I am obsessed with the shelves. They kind of look like built-ins a little bit. They do. There's Stunning. I'll show you guys tomorrow first thing when the light is pretty and we'll organize my books. Maybe yep. go book shopping. Easy now. It's the next day. My bookshelves are all in the wall and cleaned off and ready to be decorated. It's going to be so cute in here. I am so excited. These shelves. They just, they cannot be any more perfect. They're so stunning. It looks so good in here. I feel like an adult with a proper library, I never thought this day would come. And I am so excited to organize my books and put them on the shelf. I feel like 
I have outgrown the color coordinated closet and the color coordinated bookshelf. Those days were sweet, but it's so hard to keep up with and just always have correct. So I think for this bookshelf, I am going to organize by genre. I did it on my last bookshelf that I had here. I obviously have so much more space, so it's not going to be fully full, but that's the beauty of a bookshelf. As you grow and get more books, it'll fill up, and I'm so excited. I got these little display stands. I feel like a teacher, like displaying my star students. So I'm going to be displaying six of my like special editions or my favorite books. I have a couple signs that I might just put out here to show off. So these will be really fun as well to decorate with. But for now, it's time to organize and sort. You guys know I had my TBR cart and why I loved it so much. It just stuck out a little bit too much and like with my chair, you know, I didn't want to block the shelves. So I think I'm just going to have maybe like one or two TBR shelves, maybe right here in the middle so I can reach them and like make sure I see them all the time. I am going to put my TBR here. I think maybe like these, maybe these two. Since my reading chair is going to go here, I kind of want to put like some of my favorite romances in series here since they're so pretty. I feel like when I sit in my chair, like these two are going to be the ones that are right by my face. So I'll have to make those like my really pretty favorite shelves. These two or these two? I think this is like where the chair comes, so I feel like it's going to be these two, so I'm going to start there. Of course, we have to start with Magnolia Parks. That could be cute. Ugh, the Chestnut Springs, one of my forever favorites. Cowboy romances, single dads, bull riders. Ugh, I think maybe up, and then I can add some of my other favorites here. Done and Dusted, another one of my forever favorite cowboy romances. This book, Alter My Brain Chemistry, The Course of My Heart, My Life. I love this book so, so much. Oh. Perfect. I will never shut up about these books. Mile High in the Right Move. This I feel like she deserves to go there. Then I think here I'm gonna put my thrillers. Over here I think I'm gonna do my young adult fantasy series up here and then just fantasy standalones or whatever down here. I think that feels right. deserves its own trophy shelf.
The Great Alone by Kristen Hanna is one of my favorite books ever. And I have the UK cover. I didn't even know there was a UK cover, but I found it when I was searching the internet one day. And I think it deserves to be on a little display. I think right there. Last, but certainly not least, we have my very own book, Words from the Window Seat. A little bit about my book. I started this project called Words from the Window Seat back in 2015 and I would leave notes in the seat back pocket for another passenger to find. The notes were like little sentences that were encouraging, things I was learning, but every chapter is tied around a note that I've left, what was going on in my life, relationships, faith, mental health, my job as a flight attendant. So it's just an inspirational, uplifting book. It's very short, it's like 220 pages. I just wanted this to be a book that at any time you could pick it up and read it one little small chapter and get something out of your day. This is my first book and this is the actual physical done copy what's in stores. So I have this to display. I honestly have a bunch of them. And then I have my ARCs, which this is an advanced reader copy. If you're a reader, you know, if you're not a reader, basically an advanced reader copy, aka an ARC, is what they send out to readers or people beforehand so they can read it and review it and tell people about it, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, so my ARCs. And then last but not least, I have my last little display stand. And this is the first ever copy, the first time I ever held my book in my hands was with this one, but the cover is literally taped to it. And uh, on the inside, um, this is what we use to take preferences in first class if we have a meal. It's like our final paperwork. And so we just write what we have and then like write what the people want down. But I was on a flight and I was scheming. And so I used the back of it, but um, it says, what do I want readers to get out of reading my book? And so, yeah, I keep it in my first ever copy. So sweet. And I'm gonna display it here. So good. Well, my new library and reading corner truly could not be more perfect and stunning. This room is so pretty and peaceful. I just, I'm so excited. I've dreamt about this. I'm so excited to keep making book videos and all of the book content. It's just the best. I love watching it. I love making it. I love reading. And I'm so excited that I have my little dream library. It's so perfect. I'm never going to get over it.